Hello guys, so today we're going to talk about the best cutters for boning. So remember I was telling y'all I was having a hard time with the boning um, when it comes to cutting the boning and um, I was having difficulties. So remember guys, I was using a hot knife, which the hot knife is perfect. The hot knife, you know, melts it, it's perfect. But at the same time for me, since I have lost the... Let me get it so I can show y'all. Okay, so this is my hot knife. So the hot knife will melt through the boning. Not a problem real, real, real quickly. But as you can see, there's no stand or nothing on here. So when I be sitting this hot knife down, what I've been doing is, first I put it in the jar and realized that ceramic, it was burning, going to burn right through. So now I just kind of rest it like that. But... It's so dangerous at the cord, you know, you touch the cord or something, it fall, this whole thing heats up. So it, it will met, melt through the boning, but it, it, it also puts off that smell. But this is great uh, doing the boning. Awesome. I wish they would have had a, a stand like curling nines. So when you set it down, it has a detachable thing, but I've lost that. So no problem great but it's just to me i be kind of leery i done almost twice one time this thing almost burned me in the face second time <clears throat> this thing almost burned my leg because it wind up falling and i'd be afraid of a fire so just imagine if i'm working with this and i go to answer the door and gino's walking around and gino accidentally knocked this down within instance this can cause a fire so i'd be kind of leery about this because you gotta i would say use this Use this right away and unplug it. When you're done, don't leave this unattended because you got animals, small kids or something. So this one does great with the boning, but it's also dangerous and also can cause a fire. Because if it get on the floor and you downstairs and you run to the bathroom, with the sexes, you can seconds you can come back. And a lot of this stuff is flammable and cause a fire. So I would say with these hot knives, use them, use them when your eyes is on it and the minute you're done unplug it okay so i've been like searching because like scissors all of my scissors now i gotta take three to four scissors and i need to go downstairs and sharpen them for the fact that i've been trying to cut bony so when you do when you're working with fabric like i have different scissors for different things like these is paper scissors so you see how they look and I keep these sharp and I only will cut pattern paper with this. You can't cut paper and fabric. It would do your scissors. You can't cut hair. So like all of my scissors is, is a re they, you know, they for a reason. These is my shears. They go fabric. I don't cut anything else. These is another pair fabric. Uh, I cut nothing else. These ones is paper. I cut nothing else. Paper, you know. These ones is my other uh, scissors fabric i cut nothing else so you know everything has a place you know and how you put it you know and then these i cut uh uh sequence so you see this one how it's made and i got it's got an automatic shopper in it so when i get sequence fabric so i have different scissors to do different things with and i try to have them where you know i can reach them i can get to them but with me trying to cut the boning i done dulled out a couple of these scissors so i wind up these scissors i do have a sharpener downstairs so i just have to go and i will have to re-sharpen them but your scissors is really important so i tell my grandkids do not ever touch nana scissors do not ever touch nana scissors these is this for work so and then my memory like if i put something so when y'all see this room is so cluttered because honestly I would like to see. So I have my thread where it's visible. I have my glues where it's visible. I have my clips where it's visible. I have the stuff of the reborn where it's visible. I have, you know, of course the machine. So the uh, the changeable needles, pins. So everything where I can look and be able to say, this is where this is. This is where that is. This is where, you know, so I am working on getting a bigger place, you know, bigger place. So me and my sweetie was like, when we get this house, you know, uh, we gonna make it where you have all the space and everything you need and different things like that where you can have your stuff where everything will be organized and he'll build me the shelves, the bins so everything will be 100% organized so I ordered these cutters right here 
off of Amazon and look at them. They're heavy duty cutters. So like I told you, I've been having uh, an issue with, I've been having an issue with, let's see, do I do this? What does this do? I don't know what that do. But I've been having an issue with the boning. So I looked at these and it's also got a little case. So these is heavy duty um, cutters. It say it cut carpet, it cut cardboard, it cut plastic, it cut wires. You know, you had them thick wires that can cut a wire, not like a lock or nothing like that, but you know how like wire cutters, something like, you know, it, you know, these be the little wire, wire cutters, but you know, these, um, can cut like a thicker wire gauge. Ooh, wee, my little glass got a crack in it. I didn't even know that. Ooh, I'm gonna have to duct tape you. The, the little glass vase that's holding all those scissors unannounced to me it's a crack in it so i'm gonna have to replace that but anyway so i got different kinds of boning so i was amazed these was 15 dollars and 60 cents so this is boning but this boning does not have you don't sew through this boning but look at this guys look see that <laughs> look at that quickly 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 see i cut that boning you know, I did that with the point, but no problem. No problem is cutting through. And this boning that's made where you do not, um, you do not uh, sew through this boning. So to my dressmakers that want to make them courses and bralettes and all that stuff, you got to get you a pair of these heavy duty cutters and they look unique. So when you get ready, you know, of course, when you have your sewing room set up, y'all know how we is. Don't touch nothing. I tell my grandbaby, do not ever come in here and take scissors. If you want scissors, Nana got to get you some more kind of scissors. Don't touch none of Nana stuff because everything is important and it's made to do something. Okay. It's made to do something. So don't ever touch Nana stuff. Look at this. $15.99. Y'all look at this and, and be careful. I'm just popping this stuff but i don't want to like pop myself now y'all see that just one snip it's cutting through this like butter i am so grateful because i i was like the, the hot knife was doing it but i'm not gonna lie like i almost started a fire with the hot knife when i took it through i was making a chair and i don't know why i was thinking so i'm thinking you know how y'all make the tusk in the uh tusking in a chair i was making one of those royalty chairs and I took the fine idea, oh, I'm going to take this hot knife and I'm going to burn it all the way through where I can um, stick the uh, the thread, the needle through to make the tusk through the foam. Unannounced to me, whatever that chair was made out of was flammable. So when I stuck that hot knife through, it started smoking and inside. I'm like, oh my God. And thank God it it is it, designed to burn slow because the chair was up here. So just imagine I got to go down 13, 14 stairs and then run out of the door. What if that thing would engulf in, engulf in flames? So I'm trying to hold something that's on fire. So those hot knives can be really dangerous when we're taking it and, and doing stuff like that. So I'm so glad that I got this. And, you know, so there you go. And be careful because I'm just cutting. And, you know, when you're cutting, this stuff is flying. So I would say be careful when you're cutting. Like, I do got safety goggles, but, you know, so be careful. But you see how I cut? Just look. Just like, just like butter. So, these is heavy-duty cutters. I got them off of Amazon. Amazon is my favorite place to shop. Because you get your stuff. If you, uh, I don't know if y'all be watching doorbell news. Where them people be stealing people packages. And they be calling them, uh, uh, what do they call them? The porch pirates. <laughs> so, they come and they be stealing packages. But the great thing about Amazon is... If that happened, they'll replace it. But, you know, it'd be weird. People have doorbell cameras. And there have been videos I've seen where people will, will come and try to take your package. And the owner be standing there with a gun. Put that shit down. They'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. This one man was trying to take this lady. They had a flat screen TV delivered. And this crackhead <laughs> come up to her porch. And he's trying to take it, but the TV is way too heavy for him himself to, because it probably was an 80-inch. It was way too heavy for him to even attempt. You need two people or, or more. He couldn't even pick it up, but he was trying. So when the lady came out, he said, oh, I was trying to put it up on the porch. I just delivered it. Like, dude, you ain't even got no delivery truck. You crackhead. Stop it. So <laughs> so he wound up helping her uh, taking it in her house, you know. But uh, I for sure when she looked at the camera, she knew that. He was not a delivery person. You know, he just walked up when she went back and looked at the footage. 
So, and then another thing, when y'all are in the summer months and y'all have y'all windows open, I watch this on Doorbell News. This house, uh, I don't remember where it was at, but it's summertime. Your windows open and the lady, they wherever they at, they inside their house. This crackhead walked up to these people's house, climbed through their window while the visibly it's daytime, they in the house. The lady purse was sitting on the table, took her purse and walked right back and went out the window. I say, these crackheads is bold. So y'all watch that, you know, leaving them windows open and y'all not. If your window open and you're not within where you can see it, if you finna go take a shower or you finna go somewhere else, don't have your lower windows open. Lock them and, you know, if you upstairs, because you can hear the homeowners in the house, but they wasn't in their kitchen or dining room. Her, her purse was sitting on the table, so I guess he looked in the window and he saw it and he went in and he took it, but these are great uh cutters for boning so for my fashion designers that want to do boning y'all want to make uh the heavy duty stuff these uh heavy duty scissors wire paper uh cutter plastic these are amazing and y'all see yourself it cuts like butter and also you can identify it when you get ready to do you're cutting, you always know when I do the boning, this is what I would do the boning with. So I'm so grateful that I found this and I wanted to share this idea with you guys. So to the people that's doing the boning, stop using your scissors. I know y'all scissors getting dull. Because I'll be watching y'all and I'll be like, wow, they just cutting. And so that that is an awesome, awesome. Oh, 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 let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all this. All about the cutters, all about the cutters. And shout out to my sponsor that have gifted me with these items. Oh my gosh, I feel so blessed. So this is another cutter. So this is, so if you want to cut layers and layers of your wedding dress, this is a cutter. You can also cut boxes, stuff like that with it too. But this is a fabric cutter. So let me see, how do I do it? I charge it. Okay, there you go. Okay, this is a safety button right here. So you see this, you got to push that button. And this cuts, so... You put your fabric in there and you just cut and it does come with a charger comes with the charger uh instructions packet and stuff like that so i'm gonna say this so i'm utilizing the space i have in my house so y'all know i'll be cutting on the bed right so just i just imagine this right and i'm like i'm sitting up there cutting on the bed Woo! <laughs> i would cut my my comforter right up so with this when i do utilize this i will have to go downstairs where there's no carpet but there is a level but you get it in between there but uh i just want to cut downstairs and i actually honestly i have a huge cutting table but unfortunately i don't have the space so this nice little gadget electrical uh cutter this one was i think it was with 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 everything on prime i think it was 49 dollars, but an excellent um cutter so thank you to my sponsors that have donated this so this was a gift and those cutters was a gift um because i was i was having such a hard time so yes so then guys again another little thing if you guys have not tried this b7000 it is amazing glue it sets quicker than um e600 e600 i believe um i haven't even been using e600 in a while because it don't get me wrong e600 is a great glue but it has to cure and then you can put in the washing machine and all that type of stuff now this i haven't tested to see if it's washing machine safe but i just like how it oh it's waterproof yeah so I just like how it sets quickly. So like I live in a colder state. So like for the people that lives in a colder state and you want to get these glues and if you want to, if you're a nail tech. So I order a lot of my stuff eBay and get a lot of my stuff from China. Now is the season to get that because when the stuff coming from over in China and they's making it and it's sitting on these trucks and all that, I've got glues and nail polishes and, um, Stuff like that, that by the time I get it over here, it's no good because it froze. So before it get really cold, 
get your stuff get the stuff that you need so that uh your glues will be good and and get it now so like when i be getting glue i'll be buying like four or five you know even if i don't need it because this is something i use all the time so if, if you're a person that glue stones and just just stack up on your glue and then you know yeah and then a lot of times you at work you ain't able to be there to get the stuff off the porch so if they deliver it on prime and it's negative degrees outside your glue gonna freeze so that's why i like to get my stuff during the summer month so i'm gonna get some more glues and stuff like that so as always guys thank you guys for watching and get those clippers get this cutter and um oh also the boning so the boning is on there everything so um i'm still if y'all see i'm starting another so this is just a test piece so um i'll cut some fabric out and just test it out there is no interfacing or nothing on there so but still behind the scenes working um this dress i gotta put this dress on for y'all um yeah i gotta put that one on for y'all so yeah so i'm behind the scenes working getting stuff done and things like that so i wanted to share that with if there's anybody else that's like me that was having an issue with the boning and you ruining of your scissors that's what you need heavy duty uh scissor cutters on amazon and thank you guys so much for watching toodles